Okay, breaker broke 23. So today I want to show you how to repair a broken steering system on a Craftsman riding lawnmower. This is a fairly generic repair. There are a couple different styles of, of parts, but they all basically install the same. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do this today. So I was out in the backfield mowing. I mow about five acres here. And uh, I go through one of these parts about every three seasons. So three seasons is usually what I get. And uh, I mow on very uneven terrain, so your mileage may vary. You may get a lot longer than that. It may never break, but you're watching this video because your steering wheel does this. So I was out in the yard making a turn, going to, to do another row here, and all of a sudden just <clears throat> I just felt my, my steering break loose. Okay. We're going to uh, run through this. I'm going to show, first. I'm going to show you the part, and then how we're going to replace it. Okay, the broken part. Actually, this is a new part. This, but I'm going to try to illustrate this to you. This is called a drag link, and I will post the model number in the description uh, below the video. But basically, uh, what we have here is we have your your steering wheel, the steering shaft. It goes through a little mechanism here, a little gear mechanism, and then comes out and hooks into this drag link, and then this drag link goes out and turns the front wheel. So this is the part that's closest to the steering shaft. This is the part closest to the uh, front wheels. And these are manufactured in such a manner where you generally cannot rebuild these, you just have to replace them. This is about a $29 part on eBay. Okay. Here are the tools that we'll use to uh, replace this part. You need a 3 8 drive ratchet, a 9 16 deep socket. You want a deep socket for this. Okay. Half inch open end and a 9 16 uh, box end, open end, whatever you want. Those are basically what you need to use there, all right? Okay, so we've got the hood up. The engine compartment, we're looking at this from the left side, okay? You go down here, and just behind the engine, there's actually an access hole here. And this access hole is to get to uh, the rear nut assembly on the drag link. The front is right here. Let me mock up the old one here and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so basically it goes a little like this. You have the drag link that sits like this, okay? There's a nut underneath it. Goes up into this area. I'm gonna try to get my camera in there so you can see. Let's see here. Okay. Through that hole, you can see the nut for the rear sec uh, part of the drag link here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, 9 16 deep in there and uh, on the top, and then we're going to reach underneath with our half inch. Okay, we're going to use our half inch. Uh, we're going to go underneath and grab the little backing nut and hold that while we take our 9 16 and stick through the hole like so. And let me find it here real quick. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay, here we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach underneath here with this wrench and we're gonna back this up in here. So let me undo this assembly, I'll be right back. Okay, I've gotten the rear stud and nut assembly out of that rear mount. Now what we're gonna do is finish taking this one off. Where am I here? Where am I? Ah! Come on. Where is it? 
There it is. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take this crush knot off too. I just put this on there for illustration because I've actually had this whole piece off, but I just wanted to show you where it was. Okay, so we have the, the front portion of the drag link with the nut here, and there's a washer in there as well. So you gotta keep these nuts and washers from your old drag link because when you get your new replacement drag link, you will not get a set of washers or um, crush nuts. Okay, and just for reference, what I was trying to illustrate down there with uh, that part that you couldn't see, you're going to want to use this half inch here to clamp on to this lower piece right here, okay? Because otherwise, if you just try to take the nut off from the top, this is just going to sit and spin. And these are meant, these are meant to also hold and steady up on while you're installing it, because... Um, this crush knot's going to get pretty hard to turn um, when it gets on there quite a few threads and you're going to want to use this half inch to back it up so it doesn't twirl doesn't spin this in this assembly and further well just start to wear it out these things are not rebuildable um, I wish there was like a Heinz joint or something in here but they're not but I probably would suggest to try to squirt a little lube in there. They have a little rubber protection boot on here. And I might try to, to get some grease up in there. I don't know. I don't really want to mess up that boot because it does kind of protect it from the elements. There's the old part. What happens is it just works out of the, works out of the hole. Okay, so I'm going to go find a washer for this because either the last time I replaced this I lost the washer and did not install it or I lost it while I was taking it off. Not sure, I'm usually pretty good about that. So anyway, alright, so I'm going to go find a washer and then we'll reinstall this. Okay, so here's the drag link. And I'm going to try to wing this with one hand. I'm just going to basically install the front portion here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up underneath. Okay. And we're going to try to do this with one hand. There we go. We're going to put that piece down in there. Come on. Okay. Then we're going to take this back piece and we're going to try to get it up in here Let's see if I can get the camera in there there we go right up in there like that I hope you can see that see it moving around so I'm going to do this back one first because it's the hardest so I'm going to grab a washer and a nut and I'm going to go back underneath there and steady that uh, pivot assembly with the half inch open end and tighten it up with the 9 16 deep well socket through this hole. Okay, so I've got the rear all cinched up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this front one. I like to do the hardest one first and that rear can really be a bugger. So I'm going to take my half inch <clears throat> and put it back here on the nut. Okay, again, hard to do with one hand. Okay, I'm gonna use this to hold it. And I'm gonna get my socket in here and tighten that piece up. Okay, so now that's all installed. Got a brand new stainless steel washer on there. Looking good. Uh, the new one, the new part has oil on the thread, so they go on a heck of a lot easier than they come off. Okay, so now, now we have our new bar installed, so let's see if it turns. Oh, look at that. We're ready to go out and mow some grass now. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, that is how to change the drag link on the Craftsman lawnmower. Now I told you guys, I think at the beginning of the video, there's two different kinds of drag links, but they're basically the same. The other drag link that we have is somewhat like this old piece, but it goes like this, and then it's quite a bit longer. It comes down here probably another, I'm going to say maybe six to eight inches. But they are basically relatively the same to replace. Thank God Craftsman gives you that little round access hole uh, on the main frame. That helps out a lot. Okay, so if I wasn't filming this, this is like a 15 minute swap out. This is like nothing. Um... $29 for the part on the internet, five bucks shipping, bada boom, bada bing. So, uh, you know, we're into it like what, $33, $34, something like that. And I think Sears wanted mm, $44, something like that on Sears3.com. But anyway, I got this uh, off eBay, and I don't remember what the eBay seller's name was, but they're very fair. I bought parts from them before. Okay, well anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is the, uh, the old Craftsman uh, lawnmower that we uh, had the bad Briggs & Stratton motor on and we converted it and put this Honda on years ago and it's still running strong. Man, this thing's a runner. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Happy mowing.